Hey what's going on people, welcome back to another video, Bearfox here and in this video today I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best ways to fix your FPS drops and lags in Valorant. Now this is the complete guide, I've made a guide like about 6 months or 7 months ago about the internal settings but this time we're going to be covering just external settings so stay around till the end and I believe that this is the only Valorant FPS guide that you need so just follow each and every step shown around here and also guys we are at 14.7k subscribers we just need 300 more for 15k i know that you guys can help me hit 15k you know just hit the subscribe button down below and if this video helps for you guys just make sure to do leave a like watch this video till the end and also we have a discord server so you guys can join it from the link in the description below and with that said let's begin the video Alright, so first up, what you have to do is open Valorant. Now search for Valorant and you have to go and open the file location. Okay, I'm gonna switch it to the screen. Alright, now this is the shortcut again, so you're just gonna go to file location once again. And this is where the real Valorant is. But not over here, you have to click back to write games, come to Valorant, go to live, and there is your game. What you have to do is right click on that and go to properties and then come to compatibility and make sure to run this program as administrator, disable full screen optimization and hit change high DPI settings, hit override DPI scale by behavior and go hit application, hit ok and hit apply. Next step is you have to search for graphics settings and over there you have to turn it on and it will ask you to just restart your PC so you know you just do it and then go to browse and then go to the folder you saved Valorant in so for me it's local disks I mean this PC local disk C right game so this PC local disk C we have Riot Games over there, Valorant, Live, and this is the game. So you just have to hit Add, and there you are. Now once you are here, what you have to do is hit Options, and then go to High Performance, and hit Save. Now once you're done with that, you have given a higher performance to Valorant. Okay, so next up is uh, turning on the game mode uh, in the PC. So what you have to do is come to game mode, hit turn on. So this is gonna optimize your PC while you're gaming. Next up is uh, using MS config. Now this is the part where you have to follow uh, more carefully. So open MS config, go to the boot section over here. Uh, over there hit advanced option and then hit number of processor go and select the max number of processor your computer shows hit ok hit apply and hit save next thing is to do with your power plan so um, for that uh, power plan so once you are here it shows the power plan settings go to power options and then make sure that you are using your pc on high performance okay next thing is gonna be pretty tricky so uh, what you have to do is press windows and r together and type in reg edit hit open and give it the administrative permissions Okay, so once you have opened the registry editor, what you have to do is go to the uh, edge key current user and go to the software section over here, uh, this one. And then you have to find Microsoft, so just scroll all the way down until you find Microsoft. Uh, okay, there we are, Microsoft. Now over here, go to DirectX and we have the user GPU preferences. Now over there what you have to do is right click, uh, hit new and then string value. Now over this string value what you have to do is come back to your Valorant folder uh, and then you know what you have to do is just copy this uh, location over here quickly, right click, rename, type this location and put a backward slash and copy the exact name of Valorant. How you can do that? 
uh, how you can copy the exact name is go to the properties and control C close and then uh, come back here rename and hit control V and that's where you are set to go now hit modify and then you have to type in GPU preference equals to zero hit OK and close it okay so next thing that you have to do is uh, go into your uh, file explorer now once you have opened up your file explorer go to local disk C over there go to users over there go to um, your name and then you have to scroll a bit and just make sure that you have the uh, hidden items checked go to app data then uh, local and then find in valorant okay once you are here go to saved and over there go to config and then the latest one that shows up go to windows and then you have something called game user settings go and hit edit i'll bring it down for you guys now there's something called scalability groups now over there the resolution quality um, you can pick it down to like 80s or 90s it's gonna decrease the quality and it's gonna increase the fps you get but uh, if you go down um, 50 then the game is unplayable so i recommend you guys go between 80 or 90 for me i prefer 100 so i'll just hit save and close it okay so we are actually done with most of our steps over here then i recommend running an antivirus and then a mem reduct this is a software i'll leave a link to this in the description below hit clean memory over here give it the administrative permissions and then hit clean memory back again and hit yes and then it's gonna remove like 1.86 gb it's gonna free the ram before playing the game so you have to do this every time and uh, the next thing is the internal settings, but we have already made a video on that guys So you can check it from the link in the description below or the top right section of the i button of this video So with that said we're at the end of the video guys I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button uh, let's reach 15k subscribers before June starts. I really appreciate you guys if you support me and hit 100 likes on this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Verifox, and peace.